Hey, you're listening to Pure Light, where we explore how to become the highest version of yourself so that you feel worthy of your craziest dreams and confident in your power to make them happen. My name is Aili. I'm a coach and a Kundalini Yoga and meditation teacher. This is episode 42, and it's about what your fear of judgment is trying to tell you. Fear of judgment is something that's been a bit of a theme for me lately in my work with clients, so I wanted to talk about it today. And if you've been listening to this podcast for a while, you'll know that I'm working on my first book. And um, fear of judgment is something that's come up for me in in the process of writing that book. There have been a number of challenges, actually, in the process of writing, including my own beliefs about my creativity and what I'm capable of, which I talked about in a previous episode. And I think one of the things that's been one of the biggest challenges is um, just having too many ideas. Because I can't tell you the number of things that I've written down on scrap pieces of paper or in notebooks or on post-it notes or like in random places too on my laptop or my email or whatever. Like I have ideas saved almost everywhere. And one of my fears for this book is that it's going to be incoherent because there's too many ideas or because I haven't figured out how to structure it properly. And I read a book a couple of weeks ago by Stephen Pressfield called Nobody Wants to Read Your Shit. And that book was exactly what I needed to read at this point, because it gave me a new level of clarity on the structure of my book. So the way that I can put those ideas together is really starting to emerge with a new level of clarity. And it's it's exciting because it feels like it's drawing me into it. So there's a sense of momentum and energy behind this that that has been amplified because of this, because of me reading this book. And if I hadn't read the book, I might still be wondering, like, how am I going to put this all together? How is this all going to come t- together? And now I'm finding myself getting random ideas throughout the day and wanting to write more than I have been. And on top of that, I also noticed recently that I no longer care what other people think about the book. So I'm no longer worried about, you know, are people going to think it sucks? Are people going to think it's incoherent or any of that? Which is huge because three months ago in another podcast episode, I shared that I had just discovered that I was basically waiting for permission from someone to write the book, from someone who doesn't even exist in my life at this point in time. And so now that I have this, you know, resilience and this belief in my book, and I'm clear on what I think and how I feel about it, I'm free to make this book exactly what I want it to be. Instead of trying to make it into what I think it should be or what I think other people think it should be or anything like that. Like I'm writing this book purely for me. And that's such a gift to be able to say that. So coming back to today's topic, what your fear of judgment is trying to tell you. Fear of judgment is trying to tell you that you're not taking responsibility for your beliefs or you're not owning them fully. Because when you're in a place where you fear judgment, it means you're worried about what other people will think, which means that you don't feel secure about what you think about the thing in question. So instead of trying to figure out what it is that you think and believe, you end up focusing on trying to please other people and figure out what they want. So you end up trying to get validation through them. And then because of that, you end up letting your insecurities make your decisions for you. That's something that I also talked about in a previous episode, so I'll put a link to that in the show notes if you want to have a listen. Getting back to my book, now that I know how I feel about it and what I think about it, I no longer have a fear about what other people will think about it, because I'm at peace with it myself, and even though it's a work in progress, I know that I'm going to make it something that I'm happy with. And that that's what matters the most. So if you are worried about what people might think, ask yourself, what am I worried they're going to think? And then what is the belief there that I haven't been willing to own? 
Because I think for me with the book, it was the fear that my book was going to suck or the fear that it would be incoherent or something like that. So fear of judgment is showing you a belief that you have that you haven't been willing to take responsibility for. And if it's a negative belief, like those are, you know, my book's going to suck or uh, my book's going to be incoherent. You have the ability to do everything in your power to make that not happen by changing that belief. So I know I've mentioned a couple of previous episodes throughout this one. You can find them all at purelightpodcast.com in the show notes for episode 42. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe wherever you're listening. Thanks so much for listening. Until next time, may you be guided by your light.